this. Yeah, Nuka Cola Quantums. I actually had one of these in real life. Sadly, they don't ha they don't serve it in Texas. Yeah, it's the Jones Soda. Uh, Jones Soda Blue Raspberry Lemonade. Oh, it it is good. Unfortunately, they don't sell it at the commissary in Fort Bliss, Texas, or in the Navy base in San Diego. It's it's like it's scattered in the freaking li liquor store, and it's like, God damn it, I want a fucking drink. Like that shit, always felt good right in my tummy and right in my fucking uh, throat. Even though it's like highly, highly better than a fucking Coca-Cola. Actually, no, no, no. Highly better than uh, Sprite and all that shit. Coca-Cola is number one. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll give credit for Pepsi for ending the Cold War, but... Coca-Cola? If you get the freaking bottled ones... They're the best. Just freeze that shit. Hey, Coca-Cola Quantum. Give it... If you're going for player versus player combat, you're gonna need quantums. Lots of quantums. Okay. Three quantums. All right. So we got a we got a custom no, mission no, tomorrow. We got a custom mission tomorrow. It's a level grind plus XP grind. Actually, it's both the same thing. I don't know why I said both, but it's that ranking structure and um, all that. So Wolfie and uh, Easy, Pabby. I cheat the overseer's chatting in my ear. Sorry. Alright. So basically, if you join the mission tomorrow, you'll be leveled up, squared away, all the way up to level 20, where you will be issued Enclave gear. And it's a full set of heavy combat armor. Alright. That's cool. I'll see I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Wait, what time is it? What state are you in? I'm in Texas. Uh we're in Oregon. It's like getting to You're one hour um be yeah, behind. It's two. Alright. Look All right, so look forward to it. Have a good night, soldiers. You too. Alright. So, Jay. Oral scan beacons are entirely useless. You could just throw that out. It's only good if you need to scan a freaking uh, guy in a stealth boy. Which is utterly useless. By the way, I already have this plan, so use it. That way you can actually, you know, say and lie that like you actually killed a Wendigo Colossus. <laughs> We're actually going to do that tomorrow. So hopefully you be there. Here. A Wend... And we're on every day, so tomorrow I don't got work. I'm free, and so it's like a four-day weekend. I just have to get uh, this 24-hour uh, guard shift out of the way. Yep. 
Well, for me, I'm working. I'm still working right now. I'm just on a four hour break. Just got two more hours and then I had to head back to work. And last the two hours left. And I can head to bed and I am done. Wake up in the morning, hang out with a friend, come back here, play some 76, and get this Enclave mission started. You can have a taste of what we actually do. Absolutely, I'm glad you are. We're trying to get as much people as we can. High le low levels, mainly, because they're new to the game, or the game $10. But as a as a gift I'm gonna let you decide on what you want right now so I would say you're more like a a sniper and what was the other weapon yeah a sniper build right tell me if I'm wrong Well, tell you what, um, I should have customized the other, my other weapon I actually had in my stash box. It's called a two-shot um, Gauss rifle, and you can compare the stats here. As a gift, I could give you that as an upgrade rather than the quad. Quad is just giving you a friggin' double damage effect with the armor penetration for the performing for, uh, for 14 for farting whatever this has limb damage so you shoot their leg they're gonna slow the fuck down I would customize it but mm, it's only if you want it customized All right, so one of those guys, Wolfie or um, what was the other one? Easy, Wolfie or Easy. Once they reach level 15, it's optional if they want the handmaid with explosive damage and uh, damage resistance. It, it's a vampire's one. It's pretty good, but it's up. It's up to them who's gonna be fighting over it. All right, so the gift I was gonna actually give to you is: Are you a shotgun build? It's actually. Let me actually rephrase that. What build are you? What weapon do you prefer most? Alright, sneak build is alright, however, it could be better. So if you want a sneak build of something of a sniper rifle and something, I'll have to get to work on one of the things people don't really use anymore. You hardly u see anyone use this, but it'll actually work better. Focus better on the Enclave and you'll earn it. Right now I'll customize it for now. The ammo is actually quite easy to make, and you probably can guess what it is. Uh, so, it's automatic, but so far can do a high amount of damage. So, yeah. Well, you're in luck. You're in luck. You got 
you ran into the enclave you got yourself like a promotion into a military role play group so yeah you got your rank you got a new gun you got to customize so welcome to the enclave yes so on this new gun it's option I prefer everyone's choice do you want a recon scope or do you want a medium scope medium scope is basically just a random it's just a regular scope with a medium distance have a but a short recon scope is low distance but it tracks the target whenever you scan them excellent choice the best part about this is that it has is quad effect damage resistance and explosive damage the the ammo I'll just say it right now it's reliable it just requires steel and it's called a railway rifle really powerful stuff all right you're free to go if you like I'm just gonna be customizing these weapons over here well it's all right Drop the weapon, depending if it has any paints. And god damn, I made a sexy weapon. A quad. Ooh. Yeah, it's a shotgun. I added a suppressor just to make it more. You know, not a long barrel, but stock with a suppressor on it makes it better. Uh, this is actually pretty good, but this one I have. Oh, it's a quad. Never mind. Yeah, actually, you're good. You just need the ammo for it. Whoever gave you that, or who, or like, um, if you just found it off a. Uh, Scorch Beast, the Queen, then, and you're good. You're fucking good, man. You found a fucking powerful weapon. Now, for armor, I need to work on your armor. So, tell me what armor you're using. Actually, you could just take off the Enclave Officer. Just Unequip it. Don't drop it on floor or anything. You worked hard for it. By the way, uh, Jay, let me customize your power armor. Well. Alright. So. Secret Service. That's good. Just make the get, get the legendary copy. Uh. Let's see. Railway spikes, railway spikes. Here it is. 259. Since I have a lot of steel, I'll craft you a bunch. But right now, no. Uh, for a helmet, I don't have the Secret Service helmet, and it doesn't really matter. But focus on getting the legs. While you're with us, you'll have the all that shit to fully get it. You'll probably get the jetpack too, if you want that. Here you go, helmet and that. Jay, I'm gonna customize your power armor. Or no, 
Do you want the Enclave paint on it? All right. Uh, collect. Go to transfer and collect all of it. Just drop the pieces. And I'll modify the shit to have Enclave power armor. Oh, never mind. Just drop the pieces. Not the power armor. But you guys should re equip it. Alright. Prototype X01. Alright, let me see what I can work with here. So the modific so in order to make the Mark II advanced set for our Enclave troops on the field, uh, Private First Class J, the materials didn't exactly come in. So you're gonna have to wait till the materials come in. But in the meantime, Enclave paint is the scorched power of a paint. Headlamp. For the headlamp modification, it's going to be a bright light. For your power armor. Fuck me. Congratulations. You got something far far superior I hope you're hearing me uh, Jay private first class Jay but you got a Vanguard Scorch X01 torso it's a legendary normally I was supposed to craft this armor for you but you did the above and beyond to crafting it yourself I applaud you for that so like I said materials for the um, thing will not come in till either tonight or tomorrow so you're gonna have to wait alright let's see scorch paint bright light check X01 paint I don't want to add a chip. All right, let's see. Do do. Shoot do 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 do. Adhesive and aluminum. Fuck! I've been doing. I've been crafting the power armor when I could have done it for less materials. Uh, let's see. Which one was it? You can repair armor. No. Crafting armor now costs that. Fix it good. All right, let's see. I still need it. All right, so I need adhesive and aluminum. Just two more. And I can modify the helmet to have a recon sight. None of you can assist on that. I'll just sell some of these pumpkin grenades. Actually, that works. Boop. Pumpkin grenades, five. 
and junk copper concrete copper plastic steel nope Responder bot. I can't believe I've been in the White Springs for this long of a time. There we go. Jay, get rid of that. That salvage assault tron head. I recommend not using that. That wastes it that wastes ammo like jelly. Just to save you the trouble. I'll simply say this, you got the luckiest motherfucking power armor. Get your power armor chassis out. This is uh, sl slightly to a mark, uh, yeah, this is slightly, slightly to a mark two. I still have to add the modifications for it, however, judging from the armor right now, at, it, at its current state, you have a highly, highly good power armor for the torso. A three-star torso, cloaking left leg. Whenever you get hit, you get hit. You get uh, the stealth field, and a vanguard's right leg. A recon scope for your helmet, which marks all targets while aiming your weapon, and just the paint for the left arm and right arm. Alright, you can stop with the uh, inspection arms. All right, now put on the armor, man. Power armor, chassis, all that shit. It's probably shit weighing you down, man. Test out the lights. It's a bright light now. 